In today's version of the internet, there are already widespread concerns about data privacy. In the metaverse, these will become a bigger issue with the use of virtual reality. Unlike data collected through the use of a smartphone or a computer, virtual reality data is biometric. This means information is collected about users, including their eyes, fingerprints and voice prints. The concern is how this harvested data will get used. Data is anything that may help identify or, or share the characteristics of a person. So it could be their voice, it could be their image, um, could be their behaviours. Um, it's also the information about them, so name, date of birth, more traditional sense. A metaverse changes that because it's not so much about the information data that's captured now, it goes beyond that. And that's where the behaviours come in because you'll interact with things. Um, it's where, you know, what you focus attention at. What, highlight, what highlights your interest also becomes part of the information they'll be able to collect. And our current regulations aren't designed to capture or protect against those scenarios. And it's not just data that needs protecting. As non-fungible tokens or NFTs gain popularity, there will be a need to protect these digital assets as well. An NFT is a unique digital asset that represents ownership of real-world items like art, video clips, music and more. NFTs have been described as the key to the metaverse because they help control access to this digital space. In our physical world, we do care deeply about protecting our assets and our data and everything else that we sort of possess. The same argument or, or logic can be extended to the meta world where you are going to own, you know, digital assets, if you will. Um, and how do you make sure those assets are protected, that, that you know, they, uh, they're not stolen or what have you. And we've seen examples of like that in the virtual gaming world where increasingly that has become a big cause of concern, right? And so we have some precedents. As with all technology, there will also be a need to protect users from those who will look to exploit weaknesses in the platform. Now we're having a, a Zoom call. In the future, it could be having sitting in a virtual room interacting with each other with their avatars. As we get more of the technology and capture more of the information, that's when the, the privacy issues will come in as well. Um, who has access to view that room? You know, go to a virtual meeting room. We may be in it, but who else is able to log on? Right now, we can see different, different callers you start to need to understand who could be in that room. In a metaverse world though, anyone in that room could flick on a recording. And that's where the privacy conversations I think become a lot more complex that it's not just the people you've invited, it's the bystanders. And because it's digital, the quality of recording something and, and being in that is as if you were there yourself as well. This next wave of computing creates new opportunities for those representing brands to create experiences and engage with customers. But along with the opportunities, the technology also comes with challenges and potential dangers. Advertising will play a big role, a big part in the metaverse. So we can imagine that, you know, there will be an ad-funded business model. Um, you know, as a base, as a, I mean, to, to underpin, that underpins the, the, the metaverse, similarly to a social media platform. So we can already imagine that a lot of the issues related to data privacy, but also, you know, other regulatory issues like antitrust and misinformation potentially could um, be an issue in the, in the metaverse as well. But it's also become clear over the in 2019, Facebook agreed to pay a fine of over 600,000 US dollars over its role in the Cambridge Analytica scandal. British regulators found that the company breached data protection laws by failing to keep users' private data secure. As a result, the personal information of over 87 million people was harvested without their consent. Meta acknowledges the need to win back the trust of consumers in this regard. It's working with NGOs and organizations around the world, including the National University of Singapore, to create core principles on data protection right from the onset. Uh, one is to minimize the amount of data we collect on people in the metaverse. And secondly, just being transparent about the data uh, that we do have and what we do with it. So these are gonna be core guiding principles as we build out for the metaverse, uh, for the products that Meta 
has so far built, but also will be building uh, for. And the big opportunity here is the fact that we are, you know, we have time. This is, uh, we have time. This is going to take many, many years uh, to, 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 to come to life. And we have time to get this right. With the metaverse build as the next digital revolution that will change our lives, setting up the framework for this new tech will be a high stakes affair. And it will require striking a delicate balance between those who are advocating for the metaverse to be free and those who want some regulatory framework in place. If you just look at the internet as a corollary, uh, it is an open system. It is an open system that grew over the years and you know, operated on trust and interoperability and, and a mutual benefit uh, or an equation of mutual benefit between the different parties that allowed it to proliferate, right? Had it not been for that, we probably wouldn't have the internet that we do today, right? And so you, you, you could argue that the same principles of openness, of transparency, of trust, of, of mutual exchange need to, need to exist. I think with the trust issues we've seen, I don't think the consumers or the users will accept it just being the companies. I think they have a role to play and they need to be part of the conversation, but I do think we need to see the regulators or the governments um, step up to, in order to help find regulations that protect their citizens. And it is going to be a, a large investment on their side. We, we've seen with the Facebook announcements how much money is going into developing the metaverse. The regulators are going to have to play catch up. Um, to make sure that the, the technology is not outpacing the regulations again.